Hey guys, what's up? I'm Xander Corey here, um, and I'll just explain what I'm doing. It's 4 a.m. What I'm doing is I'm going back and redoing some of the tutorials I had done before that sucked because they weren't in HD or whatever, or I didn't know what I was doing, or I didn't explain them very well, or didn't go very much in depth. I'm, re I'm redoing those tutorials. So today we're going to be adding a coastline of sand. So basically going to be adding material layers or textures to your map. Alright, so when you start by doing is going up to terrain, texture, and I just did this a minute ago, but I really screwed up, so we're going to add a new layer called sand, as you just saw. Press enter, and then you, you can see you can't click on anything here, so stop freaking out for a minute and just click sand again, and you can click on everything. So, from there, go to edit surface types. Um, you didn't see sand right there. We're going to go to add. You can see it comes up as add surface type. It's usually one if you never attempted this before, but you can double click on that and change the name to sand. I suggest naming it the same thing as the texture. I mean as the layer. And then we need to go to our material editor and find sand. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our little search bar and type in sand. And then we're going to click on the magnifying glass that will filter out all of the textures and find us sand. Let's expand our materials list and you can see that there are a bunch of sand textures. But if we go down to, if we go down to terrain we're going to find more suitable textures for our selection. Um, you got beach white sand, beach leaves, frozen, it doesn't matter, just pick something. I choose beach white sand. And then we go to pick selected. Don't forget to do that. You can see it adds a material name and everything. Then you can press OK. And then let me just show an example. I just, make sure you set your sur surface type to sand. Don't forget that. As you can see, our texture is still default.dds. OK. So if we were to go to our roll up bar and go to layer painter and choose sand, it would paint green sand, which is not good. It has the texture of sand compared to the grass, but it, it's not what we want. You, you can fix this by doing two things, but we're going to do it the first way this way. Go back to terrain, texture, and then go to sand, load texture, and click on beach white sand and press open, and then press OK. All right. Go back to your layer painter, sand, and you can start painting beach white sand, which is a very nice color. Now the next way we're going to do this is a mud example, because mud is always very difficult. I already have everything preset, mud, with our service type of mud. There is no texture as you can see. Actually, I'm going to change that to default. DDS A B C default OK. And that's just back to our default. Press OK. We have our mud texture selected. We're going to press OK. Mud, and we're going to get green colored mud. Same thing with the sand, right? Right. Now, you can go over to this actually, this little filter thing and choose the color that you want. Well, let's try to get a mud color. Mud's gonna be something like that, I think. Something like that. Now if we start painting, we... oh, that's a nice shit brown color. Y you can start painting that color of mud which you've chosen. Maybe you want blue mud. Maybe you're feeling a little colorful. Uh, my favorite color is blue. You want blue mud. You can paint blue mud. But th there are just so many options of painting muds and everything else. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, just post a comment or send me a message of tutorials that you want me to do. So, I'm going to go to bed. It's 
4.30 in the morning. I'm tired. I'm going to post this, and then I'm going to go to bed. So, later. Bye. Good, good luck. Peace.